talked about how digestion is a key to health in Ayurveda. And people always have these questions. They come to me um, where I practice. They, come, they always have these questions. How much should I eat? What should I eat? When should I eat? How much water should I drink? Should I drink um, other liquids or other, um, other drinks? And people have these questions all the time. For most of us, these things do not matter. We just eat and drink, eat and drink. We, are, we do not worry about the quality of the food that is going into our body. We are not bothered about the amount of food that is going into our body, but we just indulge. Our senses take over and we just indulge in the food. Ayurveda gives us a very, very important, uh, Ayurveda has given a very important place for food, uh, especially in the preventative aspect of Ayurveda. How much water should I drink? In Ayurveda they say, drink sips of water in, in your meal, do not drink a large amount of water right after your meal, but you can have some water after a couple of hours after you have your meal. And they say that water can be nectar when you have indigestion. So what kind of water? Not just any water, not cold water, but it's warm water, which can be nectar when you have indigestion. On the other hand, it can be uh, cold water can be poison when you have indigestion because it's killing the agni. It's just imagine a fire and you're just pouring cold water on the fire. It's going to extinguish it. It will not be ignited again. It will not strengthen you. But if you want to create a fire uh, from let's say little twigs and you have a little twig with uh, a fire going, if you um, eat a whole lot or drink a lot of water, for example, if you put a lot of a bunch of twigs on these two or three little twigs, which are um, which are lighted, then it's going to extinguish the fire. On the other hand, if you put one twig at a time, you will start to grow the fire, and that is how it can be seen in the human body as well. So digestion is very important. We have these questions: Is Ayurveda a religion? No, Ayurveda is not a religion. It is a lifestyle. And I, as I had read somewhere, um, uh, it was written, had Ayurveda been a religion, then nature would be its goddess. And the only sin that would, it would be punished for would be overindulgence. So basically, moderation is the key to health in Ayurveda. So that is why a lot of rules you could say are laid down from where to eat your food how to eat your food sit in one place do not watch tv when you're eating your food because you want to concentrate the more you concentrate on what you're doing the better it is assimilated in the body just like when you're reading something or you're memorizing something when you concentrate you assimilate you memorize faster so when you eat with your focus on food you digest it better it nourishes you also, what kind of food should we eat? Is it okay to eat um, something which is frozen for over a year? Or should I have something which is more fresh, has more prana, has more life energy in it? What is prana? Let me ask you a question. What do you prefer? Do you prefer to be in a chlorinated pool? Or do you prefer to be in the ocean? For most of us, the answer is going to be we prefer to be in the ocean. So that's the difference. That is the prana. Ocean has that prana, which an uh, enclosed, chlorinated uh, space pool doesn't. That is prana. That is life energy. Do you prefer to have a fresh, homemade, warm meal? Or do you prefer to have a TV dinner? Again, more for most of us, the answer is going to be yes, a homemade, fresh meal. Again, we all are craving for that prana. We all are craving for that life energy, which is in that food. And that life energy will you, will you get only from a fresh cooked meal. The, this prana, which cannot be measured in a test tube or seen under a microscope, for example, can be felt in the, your inner being. That prana is in fresh food.
and that's why Ayurveda says when you cook your meal after three hours you it's better that you do not eat whatever is cooked after three hours so you eat, make your fresh meals eat them they will nourish you they will increase prana in your body you will feel more energetic more vitalized and more lively and most of us are not attuned to this most of us are not looking inwards for us to even be able to realize that this prana is there we have to be attuned we have to look inward we have to look inside our body we have to look for this prana energy but if you are just go 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 you do not mind your your main focus is just filling yourself up and doing what you have to do you will never gain access to this prana and prana is in your food and that is why ayurveda gives so much importance to what you eat how you eat when you eat and what kind of food you eat so your food your water your drink every should be bubbling with prana there was another thing which i noticed the other day is um, you see uh, wherever you live you see all this grass growing everywhere these beautiful lawns and uh, you see that they are watered every day this was my personal observation and you see them watered every day there is not a single day when the sprinklers do not turn on and you know do not beautify these uh, beautiful lawns or maintain gardens but you compare that to a one day of showers or you see that it rains one day and the grass or the trees or the flowers there become so much livelier they are not as lively when they receive the water from the sprinklers and again the reason is they are receiving prana from nature there is prana everywhere around you there is prana in nature there is prana in that rain which the that uh, grass is getting and that prana is what we want that is the chi in chinese medicine which is flowing in our body that is prana that is prana in yoga and that is what we want to make ourselves healthy so coming back to food that is where the main source of your um, prana is your food because the, you need food to live another main source of your prana is your breath and that's why yoga a sister science of ayurveda utilizes pranayamas or breathing exercises to do the same to get that prana inside your body to get that prana um, uh, oxygenate each and every cell of your body to make that prana, to for you to be able to turn inward to go on subtler levels so as far as um, uh, food and digestion uh, the main source of nourishment is food obviously we talked about but the other source of nourishment in case of a disease is herbs and how do herbs in ayurveda um, differentiate themselves from other herbs or what is important when we uh, prescribe or rather suggest herbs in ayurveda